Hey YouTube, before I started this video, I just wanted to tell you that I know I haven't made a video in a while, in about five days. I'm sorry, I just took a little break. I've been a little busy, but I'm back to making videos. So, um, please subscribe and watch out for more videos. Alright guys, so now today's video is going to be on how to get a cool um, mobile finder replacement on the new 3.0 firmware on your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPhone 3G. Now, I like this um, even more than um, mobile finder. Um, <coughs> oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, it's I like it a little better than mobile finder. It's easier to use, and I'll get into that. Um, you just want to go to open up Cydia. And in the search, you're going to search for I. And then you're going to type in F I L E. So it's going to be called I file. And you're going to go for the first one that says I file. Um, and as you can see, it says File Manager and Viewer. And in the top right, where mine says Modify, you're going to click Install and then Confirm. Once you've got that installed from Cydia, it'll look um, a little bit like Mobile Finder, um, the icon will. It'll look like that, I File. You're just going to open up that. And the first thing you want to do before you even start using this is go into the leftmost option um, in the bottom, the Settings little button. And you want to make sure Hidden Files is on, otherwise you won't see much. And you can also um, kind of put a theme for it. So there's like the Leopard, Windows, and Defaults. I'm going to put on Windows. And we're going to go back to Preferences and we'll click Done. And as you can see, all the folders kind of changed to that Windows look, which is kind of nice. I like that. And I'll show you some of the things you can do. Um, if we open up my Themes folder and we'll open up um, maybe the... Vista Maximus Perfection theme, one of my favorites. And we can actually do a lot of things with these files. Say I want to um, email the wallpaper, we're just going to click Edit, and we're just going to check off. And one thing I like about iFile is that um, you can check off multiple folders and files, so you can do the same action to multiple ones. But right now, we'll just stick to the one file, wallpaper.png, and we can email it as an attachment um, by clicking this little mail button. And then we can just, um, it'll become an attachment, and we can just um, type in the recipient and add a little message. Um, it's that easy. Um, I'll also show you how to um, copy and paste something. All we're going to do is make sure we're on edit, and we're going to check off what we want to copy or cut. And we're going to click the little outgoing button, kind of. And we're going to choose whether we want to copy or cut. Um, I'll just click copy. And then once it's copied, we can click done, and we want to find the destination of where we want to um, paste it. So say we go to um, another theme, I really don't know, we'll go to, I don't know, we'll just go to iElegance.theme, or, I don't know, we'll, go to, we'll just go into some random folder, we'll just go into iZames Wi-Fi, and we'll click edit in the top right, and we just click the outgoing button again, and we click paste. And as you can see, wallpaper.png was added. Um, iFile is cool because you can actually view the files right in. So I clicked on wallpaper.png and it showed me the actual wallpaper. Um, you can even view um, .plists if you know what those are. So if I go to server lock example, or not server lock example, if I go to something like uh, no undocked icon labels and I just click on the info.plist plus or whatever. You can view it, and you can even edit. The, you can even edit it. So that's good for you who, um, those of you who like to theme a lot, and go into advanced theming. You can do it right on your iPod Touch. Um, and I, I really like this. Um, you can um, view your Safari bookmarks from here. I think um, there are a lot of things you can do. Um, it has a web server. Um, you can see your um, Safari bookmarks, and this will take you home to the home folder, which is var slash mobile. I like this a lot, uh, maybe even a little bit more than Mobile Finder, because you can do many things with it. You can select them, you can view the files and folders, like you can view pictures, edit PLISTs. Um, mobile Finder may be a bit more um, powerful because you can change permissions and um, click like open with and choose a specific application to open that file or folder up with or file. Um, but all in all, it's a good replacement for Mobile Finder right now. Um, for those of you who like to use the file management right on your iPod Touch or iPhone, 
um, on the 3.0, um, since you know that Mobile Finder does not work, it um, crashes. Alright guys, so I hope you guys liked this video. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Um, please subscribe, rate, and comment, and I will see you guys later.